Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, my name is Christina. Today's video, I'm gonna be trying out a new foundation and a couple of new lipsticks that I picked up a few weeks back. They're from Mented Cosmetics, which is a black owned beauty company. I'm really excited because today I'm trying their Skin by Mented. I think that's what it's called. I've had really good luck with foundation sticks like the Hourglass Foundation Stick, the Wet n Wild Foundation Stick, the uh, Makeup Forever Foundation Stick. I've loved all of those. They do really, really well on my skin. However, this one is marketed as an ultra hydrating foundation stick, so I'm a little nervous, but I'm gonna be priming my face as usual with foundations that tend to be more hydrating. So if you guys are interested in seeing how this one works, as well as a couple of the lipsticks I picked up, then just keep on watching. So there are 16 shades in the line. I went with L10, which is light 10, it says that it's fair with neutral undertones. In the picture, this is the girl with the light skin and I think we have pretty similar shades. And I wanted to buy the duo, but at the time that I purchased this, they didn't have it. And the brush looks very similar to this e.l.f. buffing brush that I have. So I'm gonna use this to apply it. I also have my e.l.f. sponge that's wet and ready just in case. So this foundation is $30. Like I said, it's supposed to be an ultra hydrating foundation. It's supposed to be buildable. It's supposed to just give you really nice natural looking skin. So I'm really excited about that because you guys know I love my natural skin. Today for primer, I'm using my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. It does keep my skin very matte, which is why I chose it. But also a reason why I chose this one over any other ones is literally just because I have it and I've had it for a while. Ooh, that was a lot. I, I haven't used this in a hot minute. Uh-oh, I use so much. Uh-oh, please don't pill. It's probably gonna build. When in doubt, blend it out. <laughs> I was really nervous that the shade would not be a great match, but it actually looks pretty good. I would say it's marketed as neutral. However, I do notice a little more yellow in it than I do any cool undertones. This is the shade right here. I think it's actually gonna be a really good match with my neck. And then if I get a little bit of sun, hopefully soon, <laughs> it'll be an even better match. So I'm gonna take this brush right here and I'm just gonna buff it out like I normally would. It does have sort of a lipstick scent to it. I wonder if it has anything to do with an ingredient that keeps it in the stick form. Just an idea. But yeah, it's really slight, kind of Play-Doh-y, but it's not bad. It's not one of those fragranced foundations, which thank goodness because that doesn't really bother my skin but it's kind of unnecessary in my opinion like if it doesn't smell good don't put it in <laughs> all right so it's giving me pretty good coverage so far i can still see a lot of my like freckles and discoloration so i'm gonna put another layer i think that was about one layer so I'm going in with a circular motion this time rather than buffing it because I noticed that it wasn't going on completely even like on my cheek. And I think the circular motion is helping. Right off the bat, this formula is kind of harder to spread on the skin. Like it doesn't just melt, which I kind of thought it would since it said it was a hydrating foundation. This might work in my favor though. So it was kind of hard to blend out. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't it doesn't smooth out on the skin as well as something like say the hourglass foundation but even like the wet n wild foundation that one is on the drier side i would say but this one feels just a little drier than that i wonder how it would blend with the sponge i actually think that i like the way it's blending with the sponge better because i'm getting a little bit of patching where i can see the foundation color versus my actual skin um but i think that this is kind of melting it down a little bit. So just from my experience, I don't really like the brush. Like I don't like blending with a brush. Yeah, that coverage is way better with the sponge. It is a natural finish, like they say, so that's true. Uh, if you like full coverage, this may not be great for you, but I'm thinking that this is gonna be a really good foundation for the summertime for me. 
I'm gonna dab just a little bit on my nose and I'm taking it straight from the stick to the sponge. So my skin just looks even. It doesn't look over hydrating, which is really nice. I don't know if the primer has anything to do with that. I haven't noticed in the past that this primer that I use makes my skin very matte right away. It kind of just keeps my oils at bay, if you know what I mean. So I think that this is a good representation of what the foundation looks like on my skin. It is a little bit of a sheen, but I wouldn't say it's anything crazy. Like it just looks like I moisturized my skin and then it dried down to its regular finish. So this is actually really nice. I can see myself wearing this during the summertime when it's very, very hot and when I just want something that's quick and I don't have to fuss about. From first impression, I can still see some of my freckling. I have a pimple right here that you can see, but this one has been raised. It's kind of like in the healing process, but it's not fully healed yet, so I think I can still see that, um, but I don't see the color of it really. But I see my freckles, which of course I see my freckles with pretty much every foundation. It seems a little darker than my neck, but like I said, I'm really hoping that I start to get a little bit of sun in the next couple of weeks. So that should take care of that problem. I feel like this is a very low maintenance foundation that I can wear when I don't feel like fussing with a liquid foundation. So I rolled the foundation up and as I'm trying to roll it down, it's not rolling down. I have to push it down. That's not a big deal. Just make sure you don't roll too much up then. Let's put a little bit of concealer on to see how my concealer lays. For concealer, I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This one's just such an easy concealer. You guys know I'm obsessed with this. The shades I'm using is medium beige and also a little bit of my medium sand. Cover up my freckles, cover up any dark areas on my skin, which is usually my chin, my freckles, and then a little on my forehead, but I think I wanna leave the forehead alone right now. I use a hefty amount of concealer, guys. Okay, I lied, I'm putting the excess foundation on my forehead. <laughs> so far, this concealer is sitting really nicely on top of the foundation. I never really have any issues with this concealer, to be honest. It goes well with pretty much every foundation that I try. I just love this concealer. I don't know what else to say about it. Also gonna set with this e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I featured this in my last video where I was testing out a bunch of e.l.f. makeup. So if you haven't seen that yet, check it out. This powder is really great. So I started watching The Politician on Netflix with Ben Platt and I have the song River stuck in my head right now. He uh, sang it in one of the early episodes and it's just so good. I, lo I love Ben Platt, he's so, talented. Now I'm using that same powder and I'm going to set the entire face. So this is the base. This is the entire foundation concealer powder going on. Uh, no complaints here. It looks good on the skin. The powder didn't make the foundation look any more dry. Um, the concealer seems like it's sitting well on the skin. I'm a little dry right here, but I think that could be the concealer because I kind of went heavy handed on my concealer. I'm just going to blend that out. I have this dry spot right here. I've talked about this in a past video, but I've had this dry spot for over a month now. I'm not really sure what it is. It's not getting worse, but it's also not getting better. So it hasn't accentuated that, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So it just looks like I can feel the dry spot, but I can't tell that it's a dry spot. So that's all good. I'm happy about that. So now I'm gonna finish the rest of the face and I'll be right back. All right, so I have the rest of my makeup on except for the lips because I did pick up some lip products from Mented. So the two lipsticks that I picked up are both semi-matte lipsticks because I don't really like just straight up matte lipsticks. I feel like I like the more natural look. So I bought a duo and I also bought just one lipstick. I wanted the duo for this, but unfortunately they were sold out. So this is the shade Peach Please, and it's such a pretty color. It's very, very similar to my lip color. I have foundation and concealer on my lips right now, but it's similar to what my foundation, sorry, what my lips look like. This lipstick was $16.50, and the duo is $28, and the one I bought was the Nude Lala, Nude Lala, Nude la la. It's more of a muted mauve shade in my opinion. And here is the lip liner right there. 
really pretty colors. I guess I'll put both of them on. I want to wear the Peach Please shade today, but I'll go ahead and try the duo for you guys. So this lip liner is really creamy. It goes on so quickly and smooth. These lipsticks go on so nicely. They're just buttery. They feel really good on the lips. They don't look super drying. So this is Nude Lala, the duo together. It's a really pretty color. I think that this would be a beautiful color to wear whenever I'm like doing full glam and I want something that like accentuates the look but doesn't take over the look. I really like this and it makes my teeth look really white. <laughs> what I wanna do today though is wear the Peach Please on the lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. It glides onto the lips so nicely. I don't feel like they're tugging or anything. Oh, it's so pretty. I can see myself wearing this shade every day to work or just when I want to throw something on to make my lips look a little more alive if I don't want to wear just balm. It looks so hydrating. Do you guys see this? This is just the lipstick, no lip gloss or anything on. I'm going to use Curvy Lip Liner. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> I'm just going to define the outer edges of my lips. All right, guys, this is everything. I'm really liking how it's looking on my skin right now. I'm going to go grab some groceries today and just hang out and get some stuff done at home. My skin actually looks nice and matte. I don't have any highlight on because the baked blush that I use has a little bit of that shimmer. And I decided that I wanted to keep it pretty toned down um, because since I am doing errands, I am going to be wearing a mask on most of my face. I don't expect the lipstick to last throughout that, to be honest, because I mean, I'm going to be wearing a face cover, so it's inevitable that it's going to come off. I just wanted to show you guys how it looks on me and how I like to wear it and the finish and all of that. All right, guys, I'm going to eat some lunch before I go out and get some groceries because you know you can't go get groceries when you're hungry. Head out the door and get some things done and then come back home, get some things done, and I will be checking in with you guys throughout the day. Okay, I just wanted to let you guys know that I just ate some very oily pasta for lunch and the lipstick surprisingly stayed on I don't know if that shine is from the pasta dressing like oil um, but looks good <laughs> all right I just got to the grocery store I'm going to Trader Joe's um, and it is currently 90 degrees outside right now the temperature is reading 90 degrees it's a hot day um, but guys look at my skin my concealer is kind of creasing but i don't think that's the foundation obviously i think it's one the concealer and two the powder i didn't get the powder under there enough but my skin looks really good i'm really liking it hopefully my mask doesn't ruin it i made this mask yesterday i sewed it up and i'm gonna test it out today so wish me luck guys there's a line so i'm gonna have to wait outside for a little bit so it's gonna be hot Back in my car, just got done with Trader Joe's. Can you see? Can you see? This mask ended up being pretty tight because I wanted it very taut to my face. And I have foundation all up in there. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, I My groceries are in the back and I also got this Trader Joe's organic coconut water that I want to sip on. Uh, I think I'm going to go to the pet store because I've been wanting to get Watson, my dog, one of those like ram bones, like the the horn things to chew on just to keep him busy. I've noticed he's been very, very bored lately. So I wanna stop by and grab something there. I have been fighting myself trying not to go thrifting. I wanna thrift so badly. I've missed it so much, but I still wanna hold off a little bit, you know, um, before I go back to the thrift store and go shopping again. So just gonna stop at the pet store and then head back home. Got the bull horn. Actually, it's a water buffalo horn, um, but I hope he still likes it. Can you sit? Sit. Good boy. Can you sniff it a little? He's unsure. There you go. Here, that's for you. Go take it. It's so loud. Sorry, downstairs neighbors.
everybody. I am back. It is 12.30 at night or in the morning. It's 12.30 in the morning. To be very honest, I was not as productive today as I wanted to be or as I intended to be. I came back from grocery shopping and I basically just like hung around the house, watched some Netflix, played some Animal Crossing. Um, me and my boyfriend finished the fourth season of 13 Reasons Why. I cried, which is why this side, like my eyelashes are lower than this side because I was trying to blot and I was like, I can't cry on this foundation. I don't want to. Yeah, anyways, that was my day. It was a day well spent. It was a good relaxing day. So let's look at the foundation now. I've been periodically looking into the mirror to see how like it's wearing and stuff. And to be quite honest, guys, I, the oils have not broken through and I'm very, very impressed by that. I don't know if it's because of the crazy amount of Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer I put on this afternoon whenever I was first applying it. I am not excessively shiny. I didn't blot at all today. This is just like how my skin was doing. And granted, I didn't do a ton today. I did go run out and get some groceries and it was very hot. But other than that, I was kind of just like chilling at home. It's kind of like breaking up right here but it's been 12 hours I think I can give it a break nothing was really standing out to me that was like super crazy it's felt really comfortable all day and it looked really good it did transfer on my mask but that mask was like taut on my face and I just kind of assume that all makeup is gonna transfer on a mask it's kind of the nature of it I think I'm gonna wear it again tomorrow without primer to see how it does just kind of curious about it and it was just so easy to apply I love stick foundations because of how easy it is to just throw on and I'll put in the description down below how that does and I don't know I think it's really great I'd never really heard about Mended Cosmetics until I started seeing articles and Instagram posts featuring them to highlight black owned beauty businesses and I'm very impressed. I really like the, the feel of the packaging. I like the products that I picked out. I really hope that they restock the duo um, for the Peach Please because I would love to get the liner. Well, I guess I could get the lip liner by itself. So pretty. It goes on so nice. This is going in my purse. I can definitely see myself wearing this. The only thing is like soft matte packaging is gorgeous and it feels really nice in the hand, but it does get really dirty. Please stay safe out there, guys. Continue to wear your masks. Continue to wash your hands, keeping your distance. Get tested if you're starting to feel any symptoms and also keep fighting the good fight, you know? Don't let this become just a moment in time. If you see something that needs changing, stand up for it. Um, you know, police brutality is still happening, things still need to be changed, some cops still need to be arrested and held accountable for the things that they've done, and I intend to keep sharing great information. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!